Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Agriedic. So this is a very very important video for all the students who will be applying for the ICR counseling for the PG and the PhD. So many students will not be knowing this 40% domicile rule, okay, which is very much important for you people to know if you are applying for the counseling process. So that is what I'm going to explain you today in this video. So if someone is applying for the ICR counseling, if it is like ICR PG or PhD, both of it. So this same domicile rule applies for applies for the counseling. So what is it exactly that I'll show you with a clear cut example. So let's assume, let's see, this is the ICR counseling brochure once released. This is how it will be like for each and every subject. I'll just take an example. So for each and every subject, they will mention like for from a particular university, it's like how many seats are there. For example, in this uh, UP university, there are a total of four seats in which like it has divided into unreserved, SC, ST, unreserved in the sense what? It is like general, SC, ST, OBC, NCL, EWS and PWD and OPS. There are no seats, UPS, there are no seats here. So similarly, I'll just take an example of IRI. Let's assume in IRI there are of nine seats. Out of nine seats, let's assume there are four seats which are of from general category and one from SC, one from ST and two from OBC, NCL and one from EWS. See, this sums up to be how much? This sums up to be 9, right? So, there are a total of 9 seats. So, now, if from the ICR PG exam or the PhD exam 2025, let's assume the, the rank has been released. Let's take the all in a 1, 2, 3 and 4. If in case, all the first 4 students, all the first 4 rankers are from the same category. They are from general. Plus, if in case, they are from the same state that they all belong to the same state, whichever state in India, okay, but the same state. So if this is the case, then what do you think? Like how many of these first four rankers, if all of them apply for IRI as a first priority during the option entry, whether all four will get the IRI or not, since like there are total number of seats are four for general, then all four should get the IRI seat, right? But this will not happen. This is because of the domicile restrictions where it says according to this domicile rule only 40 percent will be filled from any state and from any state for a particular category for any particular category you are taking only 40 percent of the seats will be filled so now since there are four rankers top rankers right so each one will carry how much percentage each one will carry 25 percentage so if this is the case see the even if we are taking first two students it is already making 50 percent which is definitely exceeding the 40. so even in this case in the first four students only the first ranker will actually get the ira and the two three and four will not get ira and if there is a next ranker which is all india rank five if he belongs to the general or any category and is from the different state he is from the different state then in this case the fifth ranker will be in, even if he makes the same priority to keep the ira at the top then he will definitely get the ira but the two three four will miss ira because of the reason that the all india first ranker was from the same state and belongs to the same category okay I hope like this you have understood clearly because this is a one thing like a lot of students will not be knowing and during the option entry they feel that okay I'm all India 2 I'm all India 3 I'll definitely get this uh, department in this particular universities and they do not worry about the other options below that you they only see the first option they will only think that they will definitely get it but you have to know this if in case like the person above you is in from the same state or and belongs to the same category then you will not be able to get it because of this domicile rule okay what if what if let's say that the number of seats in general here in case instead of like uh, four let's assume there are of total of seven seats total of seven seats from general rest one 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 and one okay so in this case if this is the case then how many students will be getting the iri if all of them are belonging to general again the first four belonging to the general if this is the case out of seven 7, 100 divided by 7, you have to do it. So, 100 divided by 7, how much it is for the individual percentage? So, it will be like 14.28. Okay, the one candidate percentage will be like 14.28. So, if you add or multiply it with 3, how much you are getting? If I multiply 14 by 28 percent into 3, how much it is? 
it is almost approximately uh, equal to 42 plus percentage right 42 or 43 percentage like this is how much the value is see again this is actually exceeding the 40 percent value even in this case so the only the top two students will get it the three students will not get it so even if the number of seats are seven only the top two will get the IRA from the general category the rest for three four five six seven if in this case like three four are from again the same state and general category it again continues with the five six and seven this these students will get the IRA but three and four will miss because of the reason that one to four rankers are from the same category and the same state okay but for example the third student which I am talking about if in case even though he belong to the same state okay let's assume like he belong to the same states but with the different category let's assume like he's from obc if that is the case then he will get the seat in the obc category at iri so what i mean to say is like this domicile category uh, rule will apply on a category basis like general category separate uh, obc category separate ewa separate for SCSC separate that is how it is fine since like for all other categories generally there will be like one 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 one, one seat so you no need to worry no need to bother about it because there will be only one seat per university so only first all india first ranker in the particular category will get the seat so no need to worry but this is the major problem in case of unreserved obc and ews where at least you can find that there will be like two to three in uh, ews and two to three in obc and four to five in the general category so that's how much important for you to know this that this is how it occurs and this is how the counseling of icr happens i hope like this is clear to all of you and this state domicile rule is very much understood see if you have any doubts or if you want to make any clarification on the state domicile rule please let me know in the comment section i'll be explaining it in detail again and related to the counseling if you have any other doubts please clarify it well before the start of counseling so that you will be prepared for the counseling and there will be no problem at all during the counseling time and we have made a dedicated playlist where i have explained each and everything related to the things which you have to take care regarding the counseling process so please do not neglect it the playlist link is available in the description box so go and check the video and please watch it before the start of counseling anyhow like when the counseling will start as i told you the complete timeline here since the exam has completed in 3rd of july and mostly you people are already waiting for the key answer the key answer will be mostly coming in the month of like um, last week of or la fourth last week of july and if it is coming in the fourth week of july you can expect that in another 15 to 20 days you will get the rank card or scorecard after the release of the key key answer and then maybe in the september first week september first week your counseling might get started okay so please be prepared with all the documents which are required for the counseling and i will also explain like what are the like required documents that you have to prepare for the counseling so all of this is available in the playlist that i am mentioning so please watch the playlist for getting the complete details and do not miss it because even if you get the good rank if you do not prepare these documents then you will be at a problematic phase okay do not please do it please follow the instruction which i am saying and if you have got some value from the video please like share and comment on this video and subscribe our youtube channel agri and if you have any doubts always comment on this video